Kristoff from CrookedTable.com here. So I'm counting down the eight Best Picture nominees this year ahead of Oscar night. And we're making our way now to number six, Mad Max Fury Road, directed by George Miller. Now, a lot of people have been saying this is the best movie of the year or a groundbreaking achievement. And to a certain extent, I do agree with that. What Miller has pulled off in this film, technically, as far as the stunt work and the visuals and the action set pieces that he's put together are so impressive. It's been hard for me to argue against the film because I do recognize it accomplishes a lot. And Charlize Theron's performance really anchors it a lot more than Tom Hardy's or anyone else's in the film, honestly. My issue with the movie is not so much that the action isn't amazing. I mean, I'm totally rooting for the film to walk away with either editing or visual effects or best director even for Miller's Miller's work. I mean, as a 70-year-old man putting together a film that blows away pretty much every piece of action cinema over the last decade or so, with the exceptions to maybe things like The Raid that are equally as energetic and uh, groundbreaking, is no small feat. That being said, Mad Max Fury Road really has a lot lacking for me when it comes to when it comes to its story, uh, when it comes to its character development. I mean, yes, Fur Furiosa is a me very memorable character. Charlize Theron does convey a lot of emotion just through her expressions and through the way she moves. I would have been 100% aboard giving her a nomination for Best Actress. She certainly deserves it more than Jennifer Lawrence and Joy. But essentially the film is one long car chase. I mean, literally the plot is, we need to get here, they get there, oh shit, we need to get back, they turn around, they get back. That simplicity really works in an action movie, but for me to label that Best Picture of the Year, it's gotta have more of a, a more compelling story. And me being a writer, I really need a little more from my story to be able to say this is, this is the film that is the, the best, most seminal work we have this year. I mean, yes, on a technical level, brilliant. Very, very well done stunt work and, uh, you know, core action choreography and visual effects and all that stuff. Awesome. Love it. Charlize Theron's performance is Furiosa. Awesome. Love it. The film as a whole, eh, I don't know. It ha it doesn't really, the it way it's really grabbed, grabbed uh, me. The way it's grabbed most people. I mean, I've heard a lot of podcasts and read a lot of lists where people had this at, as the film of 2015. And for me, it's maybe it's that I've never seen any of the previous Mad Max movies all the way through. Maybe it's that I'm not really that much of a car chase guy. I'm more of a hand-to-hand -hand combat type, which is why I enjoy something like The Raid, which is sitting somewhere over here, much more than, than a lot of these more vehicular-focused action films. To me, this picture needs to be something meaningful that has something powerful to say, something deeper to connect with than, oh shit, look at that guy, he looks cool playing his guitar. I get that. And yes, this film has hints at larger themes, you know, with the whole dystopian future, which seems to be really, like Hansel, so hot right now. But to me, it doesn't quite connect in all the right ways for me to be able to say, yeah, best picture quality. This this is the one we need. I gave it an edge over the last two films simply because it does do something different and innovative on a technical level, just not enough for me to, to bump it higher on this list. Have you seen Mad Max Fury Road? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and visit CrookedTable.com for more videos, podcasts, reviews, and other movie-related goodies.